Hi everyone, in this little video I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to set up a HOTAS flight stick for Star Wars Squadrons. It was something that I struggled with initially when I first booted up the game and I see there's a lot of people posting they're having problems so let's show you how to get it done. So first thing is I'm using a mouse and keyboard here and you can see we've got the shortcut so I'm going to go to the options and first under options I'm going to go to controls and I'm just going to scroll down the bottom of the controls you can see there's mouse, controller, and at the bottom here flight stick and down the bottom there is the flight sticks that I've got connected so just make sure that your flight sticks are actually being recognized first I've got my wind wing joystick which I've set as flight stick device 1 my x65 throttle which is set as 2 and my satic rudder pedals that are set as 3 so that's all good to go you can also adjust your dead zones and your sensitivities here as well where we're going to go next is we're going to go to the controls option and you see down here it has customize controls so we'll go to that and then we're going to this part here remap controls and even though it says remap keyboard and mouse inputs it still includes the joystick as well so then we can choose what we want to remap and you're going to probably want to look at all of these but the main one we're going to look at is flight and across here we have flight stick so let's click on that and there we go there is all of our flight stick remaps. Now it doesn't tell you, it just says 1, 3 or 2 because that's telling you whether it is controller 1, controller 2 or controller 3 that you've got plugged in. So you can see everything, all the 1 next to it is my flight stick, 3 is my pedals and 2 is my throttle. One thing to note if you're using a dual throttle is you need to split and unbind your dual throttles uh, and try and find the one that is the Z axis. That's the best one I found to map towards it. Um, yeah, so that's how you do it. You, you just click and enter and then push the button that you want on the device and that will bind it. Um, it's a little bit odd, like for instance, buttons on your HOTAS don't always match what you think. I would have thought button 1 on my HOTAS was my trigger. It turns out it's actually pushing the hat switch in. So just be aware of that as well. It makes it a bit tricky. So that's how you map your flight stick. Hopefully that has worked for you and um, you found that useful. If you have then please give this video a like. Let me know in the comments below if it fixed it for you and remember to click that subscribe button if you're interested in more Star Wars Squadron hints and tips and videos coming up. So yeah, thanks for watching.